Welcome, Virgos. This is the Aries season, Virgos. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Please remember to like and share these uh, videos. And thank you for your support by returning. All right, let's get in the reading. So the Aries season begins from March 21st until April 19th. We are going to be breaking down each and one of these weeks as we go on. Your sweetest week is going to be the week, the last week. Your sweetest week is going to be the last week. The last week is the week of the 12th until the, the 19th. That is your sweet steak week. Okay, Virgo, so a lot is going on especially on the work floor people on the work floor a lot is going on um you virgo men or businessmen could be having some sort of a serious problem you recognize um the eight of pentacles the nine of pentacles and the four of wands so there is some sort of a problem business people you're having some sort of a problem and um you gotta recognize uh, what is transpired at the fourth week it's when you will emotionally balance out yourself because uh, a whole lot of you business uh, um people between the ages of 18 and 45 is having some some problems so freelancer business people um you know subcontractors you're going to be having um some sort of a problem um in this aries period okay Remember, Aries is not your opposite sign. Aries is kind of weird for you. So uh, you are a Virgo. Aries is fire. So that's the kind of weird um, period that you're in. All right. So some sort of a situation is going to be affecting people between the ages of uh, um, uh, 18 and 45. Yeah, 1845. Something is going to be affecting you guys, you know, on the work floor with work, looking for work, problems at work, um, problems with your business. So be aware of that. All right, let's go in this reading. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, you got to choose your symbol at the end of this reading. Use the link below in order to choose your symbol and it will take you to jo the join button. And then you gotta, um, choose for the second subscription. All right. So be aware of that. All right. So that you don't have any surprise second subscription is 4.99 per month so um there you can look in the archive and get so much information because these readings are timeless so it doesn't really matter when you're listening to it it's just the date when we upload it has to be on it but these are timeless all right so let's look at what we have we have the eight of pentacles in reverse what do we know about the eight of pentacles it is the sun in Virgo. So, um, Virgos, there's definitely problems with work or problems at the work floor or problems in your business because this is in the reverse, okay? So the sun in Virgo, um, this problem, this situation is in the reverse. Why is this sun in Virgo in the reverse? So some sort of an issue and problems is coming up at the work floor that you Virgos with your business or on the work floor is not going to be happy in the week of the 21st until the 28th of uh, uh, March. So a lot of you are dealing with a whole lot of problem in business, a whole lot of problems in business, a whole lot of you are dealing with problems on the work floor. You're not really happy where you are. You're not really happy with your work. Uh, and uh, you can see this because this should be one of your happy moments, Virgo, because the sun in Virgo, it is your reading and it's your sign. But a lot of you Virgos are not really happy with the position or the job position that you're in. And you're not feeling um, as if you are accepted um, or your your work is accepted. It's as if you're getting some sort of a fight um, at the workplace. So Virgos, uh, um, you know, you know, you do, you need to understand, you don't go to work to make friends. You go to work to create, um, um, a, a duty and then you're going home. So don't expect to find friends at the workplace and, uh, um, it's not going to be happening. Okay. And try not to do that and try to let people know I'm here to perform a duties and then I'm off. Okay. So, um, you know, you could be getting a whole lot of fights. And to be honest, uh, you're going to be getting a whole lot of fights in the week, uh, the first week, uh, um, the 21st until the 28th. In the second week, we see the Knight of Pentacles. And the Knight of Pentacles 
young people between the ages of 18 and 50, you're going to be also having some sort of a problem. And this is like people 25, 25 years to 50 is going to be having some serious problem. Um, so, um, whether you're a man or a woman, the second week and week of the 29th until the 4th, some sort of a problem is coming up because, uh, um, this is, uh, the hair of her, the hair of earth. And a lot of you, if you recognize that there is situation in the past that was, that created a whole lot of problem. Situation in the past. A lot of you are dealing with problems, situation from the, the past. Your former work, your former colleague, your former, um, employee, employer has created a whole lot of issue for you, Virgos. And you, Virgos are now feeling um, the pain. So a lot of you young people between the ages of 25 and 50 have some sort of a problem with an employee or employer, um, a former employee or employer that has been affecting you so that you can't move forward. Whoever this person is has been standing and, and just grouting at you and is blocking you and is giving, um, undesirable, um, uh, giving out undesirable information about you and that sort of a thing. And, you know, whoever this person is need to let it go. And I see that you Virgos need to stand your ground and let this person know, let it go. So check out what is, what symbol is going to be helping you to help you to understand how to, um, you know, release yourself of the situation because whoever this ex co-worker or ex, uh, um, employee is need to let it go they need to let it go and i see that this could be ending in this uh, um airy season because you recognize that this person is being a, a, a leech to you this person is really creating a whole lot of problems and could be sending out bad references over you um which is lying okay and whoever this person is is an ex co-worker or ex employee and this is a really serious situation that you need to can I put in the butt now? So some of you who are feeling as if you can't move forward and you can't open up is because a former company or co-worker or employer have been, um, you know, creating, um, lies and deceptiveness over you and you need to knip it in the bust and face these people and, 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 and tell the, tell what these people have done. And that is the only reason you can, um, you know, get rid of these people and understand that. So, um, a lot of you Virgos are dealing with, um, you know, a former worker or former co-workers and you got to clip it in the butt because you're still thinking about what they have done to you, but you got to let it go. And maybe this person just sending out bad reputation, um, over you. So you got to just clip it in the butt. Some of you, all right. So let's move to the third week. The third week we have, um, April 5th until April 11. And in the third week, we are dealing with the Four of Wands. What do we know about the Four of Wands? It is about Venus in Aries. Venus in Aries. And it is in the reverse. Okay. So there is no happy news at work. There is no happy news with a business offer. There is, it, it, there is no happiness. There is no Venus in Aries for a lot of you Virgos at the workplace in this airy season. It's as if everything that could have gone wrong is going wrong for a lot of you. A lot of you Virgos are being held back and people are creating issues, problems and chaos around you. Um, in order for you need to excel and accelerate in your work or in your duties, in your business, in your activities. Um, and there is no happiness at the workplace. Because Venus in Aries in the reverse, there is no happiness in the workplace that is going to be coming up for you, um, Virgos in this season because there is just chaos. Okay. It's as if people are creating chaos and you are trying to um, regain stability. Whatever is transparent, a lot of you business people are going to be having problems, okay? You Virgos business people is going to be having problems. Some sort of a changes is going to be creating a whole lot of issues, a whole lot of problems for you. And you are going to be recognizing that, um, you know, the happiness that you had um, in a position or 
at a work, at a job is no longer there. And I see a lot of you, a Virgos is going to be recognizing, maybe it's time that I leave. Maybe it's time that I move on. So whatever is transpiring in the week of April 5th till April 11, you Virgos are going to be recognizing, hey, maybe it's time that I just move on because whatever is happening, whatever is transpiring, I don't have the feelings, this feelings, this situation is not giving me enough strength to say, okay, I will push through this and get through this. It's not giving you that. And you're going to be recognizing, hey, I got to make some sort of a changes and some sort of a shift in my world in order to feel and have the happiness and joy back in my work life. Because there has been so many things that is coming to me that I no longer feel happy at the workplace. So there is going to be like a whole lot of issues that is going to be coming up at the workplace that there is no happiness for you, Virgos, anymore. And you're going to be have to make some sort of a decision or just, um, you know, run it out and see what is coming up because in the, the last week, the week of the 12, the 12 until the 19, what is going to be happening and transpiring is that uh, I see the page of cups is coming in. And what is the energy of the page of cups? The page of cups is about uh, um, people like apologizing, coming back and apologizing to you. All right. Cause they recognize that um, a former coworker has done some really injustice. So the page of cups is about an apology that is going to be coming back to you Virgos because they recognize uh, that you Virgos, uh, because of something you have um found out, people were um treating you unfairly on the work floor, and it's as if they you found out something, you um got to the bottom of it, you recognize. Uh, you showed up something that was happening in Springspine. You got to the bottom of it. And because of that, people um, were being very brutal towards you. And I see in the last week, an apology is going to come in. So, you know, you know, you can recognize and, and see what is going to be coming up. And this is why we do these season readings, because sometimes with the month readings, you don't see this coming up and it's going to be um, you know, exhilarating and feeling this. So what is transpiring is that an apology is going to be coming back to you Virgos in the last week, the week of uh, the 12th, between the 12th and the 19th of April. An apology is going to be um, coming to you um, because of something, something that you found out, something that uh, was transpiring at the work floor. You found it out. People were like kicking you in the ass. And I see that, um, you know, you're going to be going back and apologize to someone or someone could be apologizing to you, but it's about, it's your read. And so you are, um, apologizing to someone. You are saying, Hey, I'm sorry. Um, because that is it. It is coming. It is coming in. Um, in this, it is coming in because it's as if an apology or, whether it's coming in or it's going out, so some sort of an apology to you Virgos, or you Virgos are going to be apologizing to someone for some sort of a problem or some a misunderstanding that has transpired. So expect some sort of an apology to come in, or you Virgos are going to be apologizing to someone in the last week, okay? So, um, yeah, sometimes it can be like this, Virgos, there's no question about it. You know, you have to work with people, frequency, and whatever is transpiring. Sometimes, you know, you Virgos are hurt sign, and you believe in balance and equilibrium, and you're ruled by balance, uh, temperance, okay? And sometimes you got to bring back balance in things, and sometimes you're not people, what, you're not one of people's most favorite person, but it is what it is. So you got to make sure that uh, balance is in um as, as an infrastructure otherwise everything is just going to be um people are just going to be having their own agendas and i see some of you um might have to bring back balance in a corporation institution and you're not um the, you're the favorite person but it is what it is so it is what it is so if you're a manager and that sort of a thing or you found out something i see people are going to be treating you unkindly but, you know, let it go because I see at the end of the day, they're going to be apologizing and is going to be showing you kindness. So 
because they recognize what has happened and what has transpired. So sometimes it's um, ups and down. Now, remember, use the link below to choose one of the symbol that is going to help you to accelerate through this airy season. Um, it's going to be a rough one for some of you. Um, because you're going to be having people coming at you, but you get through this. I do love you. Please like, shares, and thumbs up, thumbs up, because it helped the algorithm. And I'm saying namaste until next time.